I'm a whole clown and if you're a returning OG welcome back today is day five of 31 days of Halloween and here I am serving up Pennywise the dancing clown vibes okay of course I you know made it glam somewhat it's kind of low-key giving scary vibes but you know I'm still feeling it okay <laughs> um I'm very very excited for you guys to watch how I actually achieved this look y'all it was so much fun actually you know doing this look and putting it together um so before we actually get started into this video make sure you're subscribed to my channel join the crew all you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below turning your post notifications as well so that you can get notified every single time that i upload a video and y'all i'm serving y'all okay i'm serving 31 days of makeup okay so y'all don't want to miss out and drop a comment at the end of the video and let me know what you guys think of this look and how it turned out and all that fun stuff. Let me know down below what you are going to be for Halloween and I'm not going to hold y'all up anymore. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> so for this look, I went in and styled my wig first. Usually I would style my wig after, but I was like, let me just knock this part out. So I went in with the golden hot crimper. I don't exactly know what like inch it is, but it's not your normal, typical loose wave big crimps. They were like really, really small as you guys can see. And then for my heat protectant to protect this hair from, you know, getting heat damage, I use my cheese silk infusion. Y'all, that stuff is so bomb. If you've never used it, you need to period um so yeah pretty much just styling my wig for this look first Now on to the face makeup for this look. I went in with my P. Louise base in zero and I applied that all over my eyeshadow because I am going to do red brows. Originally I wasn't, but I was like, no what, go big or go home. So I went big, period, as always. And so I'm taking a red eyeshadow from the crayon case, the matte book, and I'm just applying that all over my brows. Now, because I'm going to be doing my whole entire face white, I had to go in and take a makeup wipe and actually clean up the white, like the red areas first and like pretty much shape out my brows before I went in with the P. Louise base again. Because if I didn't, and then it was going to bleed and like I would have been pink instead of white. So I'm pretty much just yeah, cleaning up my face with a makeup wipe and then I'm going in with the P. Louise base. And then pretty much, you know, concealing, carving out my eyebrows. And then I'll also drag that down to my eyelid because I'm going to be using this base for my eyeshadow look. So for this look, I am doing a full glitter cut crease. I will have pictures of the colors pop up on the screen so you guys can follow along if you decide to create this look as well. Um, I'm just going to let you guys vibe out to the music. Like this video if you are enjoying it so far. Also, I want you to join the crew, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every single time that I drop a video. So yeah, I'm just going to shut my big old mouth and just let you guys watch what I'm doing.
voiceover key back on this thing so i'm taking this sunscreen and i'm applying this to my face because it gives me a white cast and because i'm going to be using a white product on my face and i really want the white to jump out i decided to you know apply this to help the product really pop and it actually worked because i did it for one of my previous looks so i don't know that's just a little tip for you guys for us melanin girls that apply sunscreen gun green that applies sunscreen because you know sometimes sunscreens be giving us white cast but you know that's a different story but uh now i'm just fixing my eyebrows because i didn't conceal the top because i wanted to wait so i'm just pretty much concealing and carving those things out and making them look all sharp and nice because y'all you know your girl likes to make everything glam and i'm low-key a perfectionist so even though you know something could be grungy and like you know smoked out it's still got to be perfect to me so <laughs> i needed this look to just look real perfect or whatever so yeah carved out my eyebrows then i popped on my lashes these lashes i have absolutely no clue where they came from because i just been using them for the past couple looks and i kind of lost the box to it but it's some 25 mm lashes that's real dramatic and real big and real extra and it was cute with this look then i am taking my p louise base in white again and i use that as you know pretty much my base for this look and y'all a little bit of product goes a long way with the p louise base so yep just doing that blending it out i am using a dry beauty blender i didn't want to wet it because i was scared that it would have picked up too much product so yeah i used a dry beauty blender then i went in the matte book and i took the white um the white shadow y'all that shadow is so freaking bomb and i literally just powdered the hell out of my face because i didn't want you know this p louise base to move anywhere so i just powdered the hell out of my face then i went into the james charles morphe palette and i took that dark brown shade and i applied this you know as like my contour so when doing like a pennywise look it's, it's like supposed to be a dead clown you know so you don't want to use warm tone colors you want to use cool tone like a gray color so that's just what your girl did so yeah i'm gonna just let y'all watch me finish contouring and you know low-key snatching his face up because i was a baddie pennywise okay period okay <laughs> Next, I am getting started on, like, the clown part. I don't even know what to exactly call this, but, like, the clown part of Pennywise's face. So, I just took the red shadow from the matte book, and I used a fluffy brush to give me, like, an airbrush smoked out type of, you know, look up there. And then I took the black from the Morphe James Charles palette, and I filled that in as, like, my top point. And then I just went back into the red and, you know, just kind of blended everything out and just, like, was blending the two colors together so they and just look so harsh and you know i did that for the other eye so everything i did to this one side i did to the other side you know so yeah i'm just making sure that you know everything just looks smoked out blended everything just looks real nice the same thing i did to the top i'm gonna do to the bottom as well strange reason i forgot to contour my nose so i'm just taking the tannish brown shade from the matte book and i'm just you know contouring this young nose getting this nose snatched you feel me i am using a fluffy brush as well because i didn't want it to be like a harsh contour you know so yeah now moving into the nose portion of the look i am taking the prolux cosmetic matte lipstick in the shade firecracker and i am just applying this to my nose and you know just circling it out and then i painted the inside of my nose then i took the red from the matte book and i just applied that on top of the lipstick just to set it in place because you know i didn't know if it was gonna move or not
To define my nose even more, I took my black wet and wild liner and I just outlined the circle portion of my nose. And this really just, you know, made it pop. It made it look like I actually like had a like the little circle clown noses. It actually made it look like it was on there. Y'all know I'm extra, so I had to add a little bit of highlight to the center, like pretty much the tip of my nose. And it really looked nice. It really popped out, you know. And the highlighter I'm using is from Fenty Beauty. It is Trophy Wife, so I just applied that. But after I was done, I was like, oh, wait. Adding some glitter to like the tip of my nose would just make it even pop more. So the same glitter that I used on my eyes, I applied that to the tip of my nose just a little bit, not too much. And it was a whole vibe, y'all. Like, look at that. That was shit popping. So moving on to my lips, I took the lipstick from NYX Cosmetics, the Soft Matte Cream um, in Transylvania. And I used that to outline my lips. But later in the video, you guys will see that I actually took a pencil because Transylvania was giving me more of a pink and I wanted more of a, like a red type of lip. So I had to just go over that with pencil. But in the center of my lips, I did take the Prolux Cosmetics lipstick and firecracker and apply that to the center so yeah right here y'all i just went over transylvania with a pencil because it was just more of a vibe than what <laughs> transylvania was doing so now creating a little smile line thing thing so still using the lipstick i just connected my lips to the little teardrops of my clown face and it just was it was perfect y'all like this just turned out so perfect like just watching this back i'm so freaking proud of myself so yeah i'm just connecting everything and just you know doing that now i just did decide to add a glitter to my lips i used this red glitter i actually got this glitter from the exchange out here it was like a dollar but i decided to do a red lip because i just felt like it was just gonna pop more and it just brought the look together because i had the you know glitter on my eyes i just felt like the red lip just <laughs> this it just brought this look to another level okay um to apply my glitter to my lips i used my kiss lash glue in clear and y'all it just was just a whole vibe like it was a vibe okay like look at me period y'all know i'm girly and extra and i have to highlight every single one of my looks so i did take the highlight from the jungle book palette that yellow gold shade i can't exactly remember the name of it but i did pop that on my you know highlighted areas like the bridge of my nose and like my cheekbones now moving over to my Morphe James Charles palette, I'll be taking that deep dark brown and just, you know, contouring some more because I felt like the contour that I did have, it just was a little bit too light and I just wanted to be a little bit darker. So I just felt like that color was just perfect, which it was. It really made this look pop out even more. So yeah, I just went over all the areas that I contoured before. Now, y'all know I am an entire clown, okay? Like, literally, this look is me, okay? A baddie-ass clown, you feel me? <laughs> I'm just going in to highlight a little bit more because I just felt like this look needed to highlight a little bit more. I am using my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter again, and I just highlighted my brow bone, the tips of this little tear drop clown thing. I don't even know what this part is called, but I just went over all the areas that I highlighted before because I just wanted it to pop a little bit more okay you feel me i just needed it to pop so um the second time that i highlighted it really did you know give me that pop that i was looking for now moving on to the hair the thing that really pulled this look together um this hairstyle was just perfect like it just was everything that i imagined like the looks that i've been planning y'all they really have been coming out so freaking perfect and i just been i'm honestly so happy um so to get this wig to lay on my head and for the lace to kind of melt into my skin i am using my got to be gel i just applied one layer because it was late at night when i was recording this so i just kind of needed the wig to just be on my head so i could finish this video record my tiktoks and take some nice pictures so i didn't need it to stay on my head for like a week or so so here is the wig finish i just plopped it on like so then i just pressed it into my um into the glue pretty much y'all i didn't even let this glue dry i kind of just was like whatever just <laughs> i needed this wig on um i know i look a little crazy right now but just like the like like the screen says trust the process okay <laughs> so i just kind of like push it into um push the lace into my into the glue i can't even talk i just pushed the lace into the glue with my fingers and then i just took a little bit more um of the gel and just applied that to my edges so i can kind of swoop it because like i said y'all i wanted this to look nice 
I still am being a baddie, you know, even though I'm a clown, a dead clown at that, I still wanted to be a baddie, you feel me? So, um, now I am just fluffing out this hair. If y'all don't know, I love big hair, so big hair, don't care, okay? So I just took a wide tooth comb, and I kind of just fluffed out towards the roots. I really didn't want to lose all those crimps that I did, okay? So I was just fluffing at the root just to make this hair a lot bigger, and it was a whole freaking vibe like do y'all see this look coming together with just the hair like do y'all see it do y'all really see it So here we are at the end of the video with the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this look. Like, it was a blast. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on TikTok as well to see the TikTok videos and Instagram pictures that I took. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and my channel once again. And I love you and I will catch you guys in my next video.